Hey guys, how's it going? Janine here again. I have got something excellent for you guys this morning. I am going to do my hair with you. I'm getting ready for work and I wanted to share a little, little hack that I have. As you probably all know, uh, my hair is transitioning. I am growing it out after cutting it quite short, after breakage and everything like that. So I am actually transitioning from my shorter hair it's growing out and I'm having a lot of fun actually. <laughs> I am going to put on this amazing, awesome wig which I'm gonna show you today. And I'll just show you how fast it is. You can glue it, it can be glueless as well, which is the amazing thing. Or I'll just show you how I do it anyway and it's very fast. As I said, I'm going to work so this is very quick. Um, yeah, and that's all I wanna show you, but it's a, a lovely, lovely look so i'm gonna take myself from looking like this my peeps to looking like isn't she gorgeous her hair is amazing she's having a great hair day today <laughs> yes she is guys yeah so that's what we're doing today awesome Okay, my gorgeous peeps, I've got something special for us. If you hear a noise in the background, guys, just ignore it, okay? It is my friend, he is doing blowing. Yeah, that noise. Hopefully my bloody music is gonna cut that out, but I've gotta keep going, guys. I've got to get to work. We all know how that is, right? So I have bought a new unit, as we call it. We, we? Am I calling myself a um, genuine wig wearer? <laughs> I hope so. So I have bought myself a new unit it's from Hair VV. It's this one here. Comes in a lovely satiny bag, guys, and it's... <sighs> Shut up, Sunny. <laughs> Shut up with that blower. Anyway, I've got to keep going because I do need to get to work, but I'm going to show you this gorgeous, gorgeous hair. Best one yet that I've bought, guys. Now this is it here, it's a lovely auburn. Let me move back a bit for you. Auburn color. Check that out. Um, she's beautiful, it's got highlights in it. Really, really nice, guys. And I wore her, I'm gonna call it a her, the other day to work, and it was virtually undetectable. Except for people who obviously know me, you know, because I do work with my family and they obviously know my hair, but you know, I, I thought it looked great. Makes me feel great. I'll show you the benefits of this wig anyway. I have to do this quickly. So, let me come up a bit closer. So here, we have like the hairline here is like a, a scalp. So the hairline here guys, if you can see it, is, is, is parted and it has the actual scalpy skin colour underneath and it's been plucked amazingly. Here's the lace, if you can see, I'll put it really, really, really close. I've already cut it because I've worn it. So the lace is here, but it's really undetectable if you know what I mean. And you've got little baby hairs growing out of here as well which make it look really, really supernatural. As you can see, the, the part is here. So what that means, guys, is when you put it on, it looks really, really natural and I think virtually undetectable. But I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So, I, sorry guys, I'm in a bit of a rush, but I haven't brushed it since I wore her last, which was only the other day. But it comes with this awesome strap in it too, which really secures it. The cap size is perfect for my head, which I really, really like. Um, and she's curled, you can straighten it. This is a 22 inch one, and you can straighten her, you can do whatever you want, you can even dye it, you know, because it's um, human hair. So, so I got this off Hair Vivi. Dot com. Go check them out. Their wigs are really, really quite affordable. I am not going to go out buying bloody thousand dollar wigs or whatever like that because, you know, it's only 10. Well, I'm enjoying this, to be honest. I'm enjoying changing my hair up 
and it's, I wouldn't call it a blessing that my hair, that I cut my hair, but I am actually enjoying it now I'm 45, you know, I'm actually enjoying changing up my hairstyles and stuff like that, not just keeping my normal locks, <laughs> but yeah, I can miss my hair, but this is really, really fun. Okay, I've done my skincare and everything this morning. As you can see, guys, what I've done is I haven't, oh, let me put it down. I haven't washed my hair. I usually wet it in the mornings. I have got these great, huge clips. They're massive. So besides the bobby pins, guys, look at the size of them compared to my face. Besides my bobby pins, I've been using these, and I just got these off Amazon, and it's amazing. They're really good for holding back all the, you know, when you only want one clip. You don't want to be, be, be putting in like, man, I can put in like 30, no, 20 to 30 bobby pins, you know? And I still do, like I still, but these are just so easy and they're huge. They really hold the hair back too, eh? So that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, just gonna quickly take you guys through it and show you how, how fast and easy this is. Up the top I wouldn't put one of those big clips in because, you know, with the wig, which I will show you, you do need to clip it in. So, oh, 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 I've got another really great thing for you as well, <laughs> besides these huge clips I bought. I also bought these bobby pins, yeah, and I got, and I got the dark brown and the blonde ones just in case you know I need them when I'm my hair grows back I'm just hoping here but these are great guys they're so heavy duty they are so strong they're not your average crappy shitty bobby pin guys they they hold your hair back they just stay in and then you can just feel the strength of them. I was just so sick of mucking around with crappy little bobby pins and stuff like that. So I just needed something that was just going to stick my hair down. You know, and that's all I'm going to do really. Now I've tied my hair up at the back. One thing you do need to do guys is actually put your natural hair tie it as tight as you can down the bottom of the nape of your neck eh? and I'm just using one of these tiny little rubber bands I know I shouldn't be using rubber bands but these are really small usually they break on me and I'll just do it twice around and that's all I want is just you know to hold my hair right down the bottom there now I am going to chuck on a wig cap because I find that I don't know why actually, you don't even have to, but I'm gonna chuck on a wig cap because I quite like that. Um, so I've got this one. The wigs from Hair Vivi do come with wig caps too, guys. So they're really, really good. They come with a whole slew of things actually. They have their, uh, their own rat tail comb. And I should have shown you that, but I will show you that in another video, eh? Because I do need to get going. So with this, and then I will just tuck my normal hair underneath. Try and make it as flat as you can, like your normal, you know, your bun or whatever. And you can even do this with long hair, guys. I've seen it. I've seen it on YouTube. I've seen them do it. And I'm not too fussed because I'm not going to be having my hair up. And you'll see that. But I do like to keep this wig cap quite back white back so I like it up there pretty much and it stays too so that's how I'll have it you know I'm pretty rough like I'm not gonna spend hours I don't have hours I've got to go so yeah what do you think see my little my hair is tucked underneath here and it's actually in there quite securely eh so yeah, next step guys, let's get older. Her name's Noelle, by the way, Noelle. <laughs> let's get her on. Yeah, you gotta excuse that blower noise guys, but it is the morning. So I have got inside this wig guys, there's a whole heap of clips. It's amazing, I I'm so happy with this 
brand that I found here, Vivi. I've tried a few companies, which I'm going to actually go in detail if you want this weekend when I have a bit more time. But I'm just tidying her up. I should have done this before, eh? Talk about unorganised. <laughs> so it comes with these little clippy clips here. Yeah. Clip clips, like four of them. And then you've got the normal pins here, which are really helpful. These ones here to push up into your hair to secure it even further. But um, I'll show you now how I do it. And then we'll give her a good brush eh, and a hot comb. I'll show you guys what a hot comb is. So let's get this on now. And yeah, we shall see what she looks like. Bear in mind guys, she hasn't been brushed. I haven't even brushed her since I wore her last, but I will. Don't laugh yet guys, don't laugh. So I haven't even got the back of the cap on yet. Yep, it's in. Now at the back, okay, so from here, you'll get your hairline right to where you want it. Don't laugh guys, I haven't brushed you yet, so. Now I like to stick all my natural hair up, you know. She is going to look bomb and I will show you. You'll see that some of the hair is out. You know, your baby hairs, your own natural baby hairs, eh? Yeah. Perfect fit, I love it. So you'll line up your part, you can even do your part here wherever you want, but I, I quite like a middle part. Now, those spiky combs that you had you will just grab it and be careful because this can tug your hair and you will just oh where is it gotta find it first right yeah, yeah, there it is and then you'll just kind of push it into your own hair and at the sides here this is the dead giveaway eh, the sides because it's a closure wig but I'm fine with that, you know, I don't want to be gluing anything down. And then you'll clip. Obviously that's, you know, you can obviously see, you can push that down more. So we'll do this on the other side as well, with that spiky comb that I showed you. You just push it under your real hair and it really feels secure when you do that. And then you'll get that other little clippy one and clip it. Now you've got to do that a few times guys because sometimes it feels oh I don't I don't want any damage to my natural hair. Feels great. And then also there's a spiky clip at the back, eh? Which you really do wanna you do wanna put that up guys. Because it just really secures it. And there she goes. There she goes now, okay. She looks really messy at the moment, guys. Let me show you how I'm going to fix that, eh? With my hot comb. Okay, my beautiful peeps. I've changed up my lens a little bit so that you guys can kind of see um, me a bit better. So I have got, I use two tools, sorry for the hair. Um, I've got the GHD Glide Brush, which I really like because I hate straightening. So I will just run it through Noel really, really... I think I'll zoom you guys in a bit more. Two out. So I'll just run her through. I don't want to get rid of the curls. I actually like the curls on here. The GHD glide brush is really good for that. But it's just to tidy her up. And I will even put a little bit of product in there. So this is the GHD glide. I'm just brushing it like a normal, <laughs> a normal hair. <laughs> nah. And just tidying her up because obviously I didn't, you know, clean her or anything like that. But I love this. I'm going to put some product in as well, some nice smoothing oil. 
but I just absolutely love her. I don't want to take too much time, eh, because I do need to get to work. But you did see how easy that was. I don't want to take her lovely curls out. She came with these curls, so I don't want to ruin that. But I want to show you, right, we've got to fix that hairline a bit, eh, which we'll do. To fix this hairline a bit, guys, you can see it here. Don't worry about this, it's all going to get flattened out. Now this is the lace. You can see the lace here, which I love. I need to obviously pull that down a bit more. Actually, first what we'll do is we'll just push all my baby hairs because they're, they're coming out, eh? Just get your, oh, sorry for my banging my mic. Just get your rat's tail comb and kind of push everything up. Because obviously when you're clipping all those clips down there, you can just push it. And even another good thing I've seen, I've been doing a lot of tutorials, they actually get the gel, the got to be gel out or whatever gel, and they actually gel back all their baby hairs first, but I, I just don't have time for that. And as you can see, this unit's got its own little baby hairs, and you can you see what I meant by the scalp? You can see the scalp. And over here obviously needs to be pushed up a bit more. But I am actually not too worried about that. The whole point of it looking real, guys, is that is that scalp middle part there. And obviously here where my real hair is, I've got to clip that again because that's a, you know, it's a dead giveaway. But you know, honestly, it's a wig. See, I've clipped it further there. And I'm gonna be wearing her like that anyway. And then I can tweak her a little bit more, you know, when I get to work and stuff like that, but I've just got to go. And you'll just, I love these clips. I love the closure thing of it. I love these five, five by five closures, that's what it is. Okay guys, hot comb time. I'm gonna show you how to use it. Okay, my gorgeous papes. Not sure if anyone's seen one of these, but they are hot combs. They're amazing, I love them. It was like $20. Really, really, really hot. Three settings here. The only bummer about this is that it didn't have my country codes um, plug, so I had to get like a universal plug. So this is what everyone uses to get that flat hairline. And it's freaking awesome, I must say. You just hold it on its side like that. And you can also go through your hair, which is really hot. It's way hotter than irons. But I know where they use it now. You can't get flat roots, right, with a, with a straightener or anything. And you can just go through your hair like this. It doesn't hurt because you've got that wig cap on. Straighten out the back. And then you can just run the hot comb through the wig. But you know, you don't want to be taking out the curls, guys, so that this is really straightening for it. But don't worry, I'm going to put some um, product in it to revive it. But it's just really great for those flat roots, which you really need, eh? Because it's a dead, that's a dead giveaway, I reckon, with wigs. When they pop up, or they're too over shiny or anything like that. So I'll just go through it now. Just push all that those flyaways down. Be careful with this thing, man. It's really hot. I've burnt myself so many times. And I think that's enough. That's enough. I've got to go. So now, guys, what I'll do just to make it look even more perfect, I mean, you can see, look at it, isn't it beautiful? I'm so happy with this unit. Okay, what I usually use is, I love this stuff. Anyone from America would know it. Biosilk, it's beautiful, lovely oiliness. <laughs> You can use your Moroccan oil. I've got Kerastase over there, but I really enjoy this stuff. It's got a really nice smell too. And I will just go up the top. Another thing, guys, is you don't want it too bloody shiny because that's another dead giveaway of a wig, eh? Is that they look super shiny, super unnatural, but hey, I don't actually care. I love the shine. 
and I am so happy with this wig. I really love the colour. I'm getting another one, a blonde one. <laughs> yeah, I think I put a bit too much in there, but that's okay. It needed some loving right at the ends. And I'll get my normal brush through it. Yeah. But if you can check out that hairline, guys. Could do with a little bit more tweaking, and I will do that. Just grab your rat's tail comb. Remember, guys, I haven't glued this down. And you can glue it down, too. I'll show you the stuff that you glue it down with. So the stuff to glue down your wigs, guys, is this amazing stuff here. They've got to be um, ultra-glued styling gel. It's just like glue, but it's awesome. It just comes off with water. So, you know, when you're ready to take it off at night, I, I don't keep my wig, wouldn't keep my wigs on for longer than a night. Ready to take it off, you just get a little face cloth or something and just dab, dab it. And I think that's perfect. She's looking good. Then I'll just get my normal brush and I'll just go through it. One more time. I mean, what do you think of those hair lights? I love it. Brush her out. The back of it, I'll show you the back. And that wasn't too bad, eh, guys? I mean, I think that looks super natural. I am going to show you the back of it now. Okay guys, I think this wig looks really, really, really nice. What do you think? So when you come up close, I have cut the lace pretty high up to those baby hairs. I've done nothing else. I've just pretty much cut the lace. Obviously, you can see my sideburns. But I'm not fussed about that. And I also do get um, root concealer as well, which I, which I do put on there, which I'm not going to do now. But I will do it in a video where I can... I have more time, but I want you to check out the back. What do you think? <laughs> yes, I'm having so much fun with these wigs, guys, and I love keeping her out like that. And, you know, I just and you can tweak it further than this, guys. I mean, this is really, really fast. I do need to go, but what do you think? I think she is gorgeous. I love Hair VV. Their wigs are just so realistic. That scalp's amazing. Don't forget, this was the 5x5 five five closure wig, and I just absolutely love it. I mean, obviously, if you're going to tie your hair up, you need to really do some tweaking, but it, it, it can be done. It can be done, but I don't want to tie it up. You can, I might even just, you know, I could do it in a low pony or something like that, which I'm, I'm going to wear this in a video tomorrow, um, a makeup one. But yeah, I really, yeah, I love it. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. I, I really wanted to share, you know, my wigs with you, and this is like the best unit unit that I've bought so far and she's gorgeous and I'm going to link all the details of where I got it what style she is and everything like that but I'm really really happy with this um, do you guys like it <laughs> I had to do a tutorial for you guys and just give you some little inspiration for my over 40s that you can switch your look up I mean I think that looks pretty good eh and that hot comb is the key too, guys. That hot comb and just flattening out that middle. I mean, you can't even see that the back of my um, bun. And it feels so secure, guys. Like, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off or anything like that. I'm going to wear it all day. I wore it all day at work the other day, and it was just perfect for the whole day. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope it was informative for you, and I hope that you try something out. Switch your look up, switch your look up, it's great. I, I'm really happy with this and yeah, I'm gonna finish off my makeup now guys and I'm gonna shoot to work. I had to show you this wig and how I put it on and I will catch you up on another awesome video um, probably this weekend. So yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely, lovely Friday. Take care guys.